Dozens gather Thursday at the Fort Meade USO to celebrate the USO's 75th anniversary. Since February 4, 1941, the USO has supported troops and their families wherever they were deployed. As President Franklin Roosevelt put it, soldiers deserved an organization that would keep service members in touch with the bonds of family and the comforts of home, no matter the conditions they serve. Happy anniversary to the USO and welcome to another edition of Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the Tax Center is open for business. The Army IGH Hotel is almost open for business. A second deer call started in January and February is Black History Month. These stories and more. But first, on Monday, the senior U.S. Senator from Maryland and the longest serving woman in the history of the United States Congress, Barbara Mikulski, stopped by Fort Meade to tour the commissary. Mikulski's tour follows her fight to include $1.43 billion in this year's appropriations bill that fully funds military commissaries across the country. Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley thanked the Senator by saying, she's always recognized the valuable contribution to our nation made by the men and women of Fort Meade. We truly appreciate her past, present, and future advocacy. In other news, the 2016 Joint Installation Tax Center is open for the season. The Legal Assistance Center held a brief ribbon cutting this week. As always, free tax preparation service is available for most in the DOD community. It's open Monday through Friday from 8.30 in the morning to 5 in the evening. Walk-ins are available, but appointments are always best. Call 301-677-9366. Meanwhile, we have an update on the new IHG Army Hotel that's nearing completion across from McLaughlin Parade Field. Originally scheduled to open December 31st, the official grand opening has been pushed back until the landscaping and site cleanup are completed. In the meantime, we spoke with Fort Meade IHG Army Hotel's manager, Brenda Stoner, who says the new hotel is a huge improvement. By bringing this new product to life, for everyone, even people that are coming to visit service members that are stationed here, it is absolutely an honor to be able to welcome people into this facility and know that they have what they need without going off the installation. We'll have more on the new hotel in Thursday's edition of The Sound Off, including details on hotel amenities. Meanwhile, you can find out more by going to their website. If you just want to kind of search and see what we're all about, if you go on to IHGArmyHotels.com and tear, uh, select down to the installation for Fort Meade, um, you will find all the information about the new hotel there, along with rates and availabilities. In other news, a year ago we reported on plans to reduce Fort Meade's deer population to acceptable levels. This year, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is performing a second deer call. This year's objective is 182 after 200 deer were taken last year. The goal is to have 18 deer per square mile. Currently, the population is about 52 deer per square mile. The operation started on January 28th and is expected to continue through March 31st. Meanwhile, February is National Black History Month. The Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office and the Defense and Media Activity are hosting this year's observance. It's coming up February 25th at 1130 in the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is Dr. E. Faye Williams, the National Chair of the National Congress of Black Women. Here's a video courtesy of Comcast with Dr. Williams discussing pay gaps between men, women, and minorities. And one would think that there's equality for LGBT, equality for women, equality for all minorities, particularly when it comes uh, to pay. But that's not accurate. Why? That's right. Some are moving faster than we are. And you mentioned that big uh, inequity for African-American women. And Hispanic women. Uh, and Hispanic women even more. So we have to work hard. One final reminder from Child, Youth, and School Services. Volunteer sports coaches are needed. Volunteers will receive free training and will be certified through the National Alliance of Youth Sports. For more information, stop by the CYSS Youth and Sports Fitness Office at 1900 Reese Road or call 301-677-1179. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week. At the end of the first visit, there was a, a boy whose name was Reden. And uh, I went into his room and he was laying up against the white pillows and very quiet and his eyes were closed and he had a really long eyelashes and I thought he was asleep and I walked over to him and he didn't open his eyes and I said hello and I put my hand kind of on his heart and uh, I looked at his you know family or whoever was in the room and said is why isn't he opening his eyes and they said he he just he doesn't want to open his eyes we don't really know why and that just uh, completely freaked me out because I thought, so he's seen, something he has seen has made his eyes stay closed. So I just kind of reached down and whispered in his ear that, you know, I know you're going to be okay. You have to, I promise you, you're going to be okay. And that was it. That was the beginning. And I knew that from that moment onward, I would come back whenever I could.